Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and we are back on The Witcher 3. We're going to be going and getting this play kicked off, so let's go talk to Irina Renard. Let's start the play. We don't need to go find the Puffins, get them to promote it. We'll just go ahead and start this this stupid play. I don't even know. I might just click the first options. Like, I'm not going to put too much thought. I just don't like this part of the game. I don't know. Not I'm not in the theater. Like that's not like my thing. So make this go as quick as possible. Let's go ahead and rock and roll. Head this way, and then we'll uh, we'll get this all started. Then we'll move on to bigger and better things like finding dandelion. And then find then getting out of Novigrad. Actually, once I finish up the main parts here in Novigrad, and all is left is Skellig is to go to Skellige, what I'll do is I'll go and do all the Triss's side quest. Triss's, Triss's side quest. Alright. Um, what is the game doing? Game. Why did you take me here? No, I don't want the empty bottle. Let me go up here. Oh my god, I wanted to jump. Oh, the struggle is real. Okay. I'm oh, wow. Okay. Oh, hey, back entrance. Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. Who's playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. It's a good idea. Doubt I'll get a standing ovation, but Dudu will see me. That's the key. But you will make an effort, won't you? Learn your lines, at least. I'll give it a shot, of course. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier, outstanding actor, and audiences love him, but sadly I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Let's go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Rightly so. The project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. All right. Got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? We can start now. Looked over the script, out of curiosity. We can start any time, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Prissy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me, Witcher, are you going to wear a hose and a codpiece? 
Calm, Geralt. You must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. Its title, The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Ribe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, a veteran of the Novigrad stage, Abelard Ritza. And as the princess, the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. <laughs> Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show a tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. I kill monsters for pleasure, and... And no man is my measure. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least, ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Perhaps midst the guests he hides in fear. My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. Months we've restrained our loins' hot desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife, that's my plea. That having said, <laughs> I'll get down on my knee. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. T -t 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 Treason! Tis not wine, <coughs> but a brew spiked with silver. My bowels contract a foul beast to deliver. Hark, hark. Tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. If the maid loves him, it seems we've lost her. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword. Let fly the killing stroke. 
Stop, stop, beast or man! Tis my love, my betrothed! Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a lack of morals. And a surfeit of cakes. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly, without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk. And its moral is this. Show love for Dopplers. As well as for fish. The Witcher is just. A true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. God! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command? Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the tray, I scum in the dungeon. Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Light it up, for God's sake. Recognize me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How'd you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time. It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> I know Siri went back to Horsens to get you. How'd you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me and treated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but... Slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full-grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us silly for a moment. Geralt? No, no need. I'll recognize Siri when I see her, sure of it. Oh, 
Oh, I just thought you might want to see. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance, then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lad and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and will await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Guile's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga. Live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemarian Time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled? Let's get to work. Oh, Geralt. Geralt, I fear I'd be more successful hunting a beast than you were on stage. Could be. He'd still be wiser not to try. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. You were right to cast Abelard as the prince. It's likely Maxim would have shown up drunk as a fish or forgotten about the premiere altogether. Here you are. Your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. I have a question. Who wears pants like that? Like, look at the... Look, why, why would you have a different color for your crotch area? Like, who who does that? Who changes the color of their pants like that? It's just weird. I don't get it. It's weird. It, like, draws attention there. It's like a completely different color. It doesn't even match. Like, I don't even get it. Okay, let's steal some stuff. Alright, so we're gonna finish up this episode. We'll do Dandelion in the next episode. For now, we're going to go and we're going to sell some stuff. We're going to clear out our inventory a little bit and then call it an episode. So let's go ahead... Oh, hey, look, we're at the main square. What a... How... What? That's just... That's just peachy. No, we're not at the main square, are we? No, this isn't... No, yes, no, yes, this is the main square. Okay, so we need to meditate. Let's meditate to the day. We'll go to 9 a.m. Or 7 a.m. Not 9, 7. Oh, oh shit, I stole and killed the guards! Oh shit! Oh god, run, run, just run. Oh my god, they're high level. This dude, what are you doing, dude? Get off the stairs. Da, da, da. Holy hell, I forgot about that. I didn't even mean to steal, I meant to run. If I just hide right here. Okay, I think I lost them. So now if I go back to that area, will they attack me? This is the question. I think they're too stupid to realize it's me. Yep, we're alright. Alright, that works. My bad. Of course my armorer isn't here. Where the hell is he? What's he doing? Guess we'll go to 10. There you are. There you are, buddy. Alright, you don't even sell any swords. Show me what you have in stock. I don't even know what he's talking about. Top-notch swords, you don't even sell any. These are the swords I sold you, right? Yeah, that's the sword that I sold him, probably. Ooh, Assassin's Boots, let's grab those. Um, Tracker's Gauntlets. Let's go ahead and pick those up. 
cavalry trousers. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Arid Ard Skellige, Acton, Bounty Hunters Gavison. Well, I guess we'll take that. Okay, let's go ahead and throw these clothes on, and then we'll sell what we're not wearing anymore. Okay, so we need this on. We need this. New pants. And new gloves. Alright, so let's check these swords, make sure there's not a better option. So this is a better option because it's a level higher. So any silver swords here doesn't look like it, so we'll just go ahead and sell all of this stuff. Alright. Top notch swords! Shut up, you don't even have top notch swords. Willing to craft. I don't really want him to crap, I just want him to repair. Repair. Oh shit, I don't want to repair all this random bull crap. Let's go ahead and repair that. And I think that's all we need to repair. So let's go ahead and sell the rest. Let's go through and sell all these swords. Oh, did not mean to sell that. Oh well. Probably end up buying the bag. Okay, just selling everything. It's not even getting any, like, any money, so this is just freaking awesome. It literally gave me, like, no ammo, or no money back. I guess I might as well sell these, because I'm not really using them. Okay, so that did give me some money back. Let's grab these up. Just in case I don't come back in time to repair some of my stuff will have this stuff so let's buy all this stuff okay so we're sitting at 2600 we got new gear and all that and it only cost us about a thousand so thousand uh thousand crowns so let's go over here and go to the banker why won't it let me talk to him there we go how can i okay um i'd like you got to convert some, some currency I don't know how many I had. 30 crowns, alright, not bad. Let's go over here to the herbalist and we'll sell some stuff to him. You know what? I have some more stuff I need to sell to the blacksmith, I think. So I'll need to take care of that. Welcome. Okay, show me what have you wares. got there? I just want to sell this stuff, not the dwarven spirits. Wyvern hide for four. wow, this dude's got no money. I literally just like took all his money. What have you got there? No, damn it. No, son of a bitch. So long. Okay, guess I'm not selling to that herbalist because dude's got no money. Guess I'll end up probably keeping that stuff till we go to Skellige. And there's some people with some more money there. There's a couple of herbalists there, so I'll be able to sell most stuff off there. Probably stuck with this type of weapon for a little Show while. Me. How much money does he have? So he's got 2,200. So we got some crafting materials I can sell. Sell the pearl. Plate. Look at how much amethyst dust money I have. Okay, I'm selling all the cheaper stuff first. Get the inventory cleaned up a little bit here. Okay. This is taking his money down like nothing. Go ahead and sell all of the amethyst dust. So all of that. Um, sell that I guess. We'll sell one of these. And I think does this sell for 136? So there's that. We're almost at 5,000 bucks now. Completely so forgot long. about selling all of that stuff. So let's go ahead and go over to the fast travel and call it an episode. So. Let me see. Let's check the fast travel, see if we've got somewhere to fast travel that's near, or if we're just going to have to... Uh, yeah, we do. We got this right here. I think this will be the closest, just right on up. So, let's go ahead and fast travel there, and then we'll call it an episode. So, we're getting... We're almost out of uh, Novigrad, technically, but we won't... We're not out close because we'll be doing those Triss side quests, uh, both of them, and then I'll be starting the relationship with Triss. Uh, so it'll should be interesting. I gotta remember not to uh, do the side quests and stuff with the Yennefer because now I'm so like used to it because that's what I've been doing. So I gotta remember not to do that. Uh, but 
yeah, uh, I hope you guys have are enjoying the series like I am. Um, we'll be taking a break after I finish this until uh, I'm either done with Dead Space or New Vegas, whichever one happens first. And then we'll be coming back for the completionist playthrough to wrap up the summer, probably, Brother, uh, before all the new games come out and we start yeah. rocking through all those. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you all in the next episode. Peace out, guys.